All right, so this is the teardrop that we're going to be working with. I think this is about a 30-incher. So I went and fluffed it up some. Look at that. There's a hanger on there. I didn't know that they had it its own hanger. <laughs> How about that? All right. Now, there's a few things I have that I can put on this. First, I'm definitely going to use the skates. And I did see they're pretty much sold out everywhere. So, I only have six pairs listed in my shop. So, if you want them, you better go get them. Because they're not going to be around. I have some, looks like frosted um, pine. I made some snowballs, but I'm not sure I'm going to use them because of the size of them. I want everything to kind of look like it's all the exact same size, you know what I mean, like in proportion with each other. So I'm not going to use those. So I do have these if I want some snowballs in there. I do have these from Joann's, and they would be in proportion with that. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> All right. So, uh oh. Oh. I'm using my sign tonight, Wonderful Winter. One, winter Wonderland. Oh, I'll get it. See, it has a sled and a lantern and a set of skates. It's kind of like a green background, and this is kind of like a bark background. And there is a cardinal in there. Hi, Angie. So we're going to be using that tonight, and I think I'm going to put that kind of at the top. And then do my bow up here, then have my ice skates here. And... Remember all those uh, wreaths I bought that were all falling apart because somebody mashed them in the box and nothing was working right? I actually took one apart, and look at that. This is a Dollar Tree square frame, which I thought this would look really cute, all decorated around too, and then hang the ice skates from here. <laughs> so, I may go ahead and cut another one down and mount it on here. So, for now, we're going to put the ice skates in here, but if time allows, we may take them off and we may put them in here. So, so I just wanted to show you that. Oh, and another thing, all those signs I was doing, I told you that I was doing them different for each one of the kids. Well, this is actually like a 6 by 12 frame, and these fit right in that 6 by 12 frame. So this one, I think I'm going to paint white. I'm not sure yet. Or even a wood grain brown, and then hang a hanger from it. So this is something they could hang on the door. They could hang outside the door. I took the glass out, all right, but I just wanted to show you that these signs don't always have to go in a wreath. They look really nice in a frame, too. The frame came green, so I have to paint it. That's why it's like that. I know. Did you uh, did you do any coffee cans, Dawn? I was thinking about you. All right, so we're going to put this about right maybe we're going to put it more in the middle I think right there would be good I'm just trying to figure out how I want to mount this I could do a corner that's what I'll do we'll see how that does I just wanted to give everybody different options you don't always have to put your sign in a wreath. Oh, I thought 
thought I had, yes I do. So I have some green tinsel tie up here so we can use that and disguise it in there with the rest of the greenery. Okay. Did y'all see on my uh, Facebook page my little trick-or-treaters, my grandsons? They were so stinking cute. We only had those two and one trick-or-treater. That was it. But how cute were they? actually don't need all that so we'll trim some of it off that's why I like to use the pine looking uh, tinsel tie because boy it really disappears oh did you take a picture Dawn I'd love to see it aren't they <laughs> I had a cute little video. They were sitting on that chair and we were making so much fuss over them. And all of a sudden they turned around and looked at each other like, who are you? It was just adorable. They made the one grandson's bandana because they were, it, it was just too plain. They needed something to spruce it up a little. So, so there we go. It's in there really good with the tinsel tie. You all know me and my tinsel ties. All right, now in the sign, there is some ribbon. I don't know if you can see it. There is some ribbon here with the uh, skates. So I thought I'd use this green and reddish ribbon to tie these two together and hang them in the wreath. I also am still in search of my cardinals because there is a cardinal sitting on top of the uh, lantern. So I do want to add a cardinal in. <laughs> Hi, Nanny Dot. I have two borders right now and they're both my puppies and oh my gosh, the one saw her mom and she's freaking out. I had to shut the door because she got so loud she was carrying on so bad. <laughs> it's just so fun when they come back. Their personalities are really cute. I don't think I allowed myself enough there. <laughs> they did fly away. But <laughs> got the heck out of this house. Because <laughs> you can't find anything. Christmas orders are starting to pick up. And I told my girlfriend, I said, once Christmas is over with, I have got to organize. Because this place is getting full. So that's going to be my New Year's resolution. Clean it up. I just thought this would look nice with this sign, too. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this sign has poinsettias. It has a sled. It has, like, a vintage-looking um, lantern in it. It has a few snowflakes. And if, for those of you that are new, um, I make my own signs. I sell them on Etsy, along with ribbon and wreath attachments and such. I use a really good photographic paper and I pre-treat all my signs. So you won't have any problem with it peeling off. Okay, so that's where that is. So I wanna get three of these 
in here. I just thought this would add to this wreath base and give it a little more texture. And it looks like it's got ice on it. So that'll be cool. If you guys wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. See, that kind of really looks good there, doesn't it? Thank you, Dawn. I love swags. They are so easy to do. All right. This one, I think we're going to put right in here. Let's dry fit it first. Looks real pretty right there. And then this one, I think we're going to go at this angle. There. All right. Because this has like a metal rod showing, I'm just going to point them upward to kind of make that rod kind of disappear in there. There we go. This does have a few different textured pines in it. If it did not, I would be taking my garland apart and putting that in there. I always buy at least one or two nine foot garlands at the beginning of the season and then I take them apart and I just use it as filler. Now for definitely for this one because it only has one straight piece of pine in there I would definitely add um, some to that. But see how that just adds another like what's the word I want to use? I want to say dimension, but that's texture, I think, more. And I can also use, if I wanted, and I'm going to on this one, I'm going to actually use some of the pine to wrap it around and then glue, glue it in just to give it more stability. How's that look so far? I, I just love ice skates. If I could figure out a way to make a pair for in here, I definitely would. Oh, and check this guy out. Look what I found this weekend. Is he not the cutest? So he's going in a wreath next week with my um, gingerbread sign. I'm so happy I found him. All right, now somewhere, and it might be at the bottom, I thought I'd add this big old bell, the one I was showing you that I got from Dollar General for a dollar. I thought that would look pretty at the bottom. You know, I bought it off a lady. I saw it on Facebook, and she said, when I met her yesterday, she said, you must be a collector. <laughs> and I said, no, no. I said, this has gone on a wreath. And she kind of looked at me like, what? So I sent her a message today. I said, here's a link to my shop and blah, 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 blah. And I said, you know, when I make it, I definitely will 
it's, I'm scheduling it for next week. So I said, when I'm done, I'll show it to you. She said, I was, after I left, I thought, geez, I should ask her, I should have asked her if she could send me a picture. So. So, yeah. She must have thought this crazy lady is driving over 20 minutes one way just to pick up this gingerbread guy. And I have two I picked up last year, but I'm, I'm not liking the colors. So I want to change the colors, and I haven't done it yet. So this guy, I can work with those colors. There we go. All right. I have some frosted beets that I can throw in here, too. I have some poinsettias. I actually have two red ones and a white one. So I thought I would probably end up using these too. Although if I didn't use them, it would kind of lend itself to after Christmas also. So maybe we'll forgo those. And we'll just make it look like a winter one. You bet. I will. <laughs> I mean, did you see my snowballs? I used that, that fluffy yarn. And I used my pom-pom. Um, I didn't want them looking all smooth. I wanted them to look like you just did this to them. So I made a bunch of those. Yeah, thought it'd be something different. But I thought this looked like it needed just a few snowballs in here. Those are just too big. So we'll go with something a little smaller. These were from Joann's. So, I just thought they would, you know, just lend itself to the design and just kind of look like a, a snowball. And that look pretty in there? We don't need that. And then I have just some berries, plain berries. That I thought we could fill it up with. I know, right? This one was made with the biggest, well, I think I even have a bigger pom-pom maker than this one. So that's the big one. And then this size is this one. But I thought, man, I'm going to use them for something. I just don't know what yet. But I was just playing around with them. All right, let's put some beads in here. So I like my beads. I just like the way these beads look against the pine. And they have that icy look to them. Now I'm going to have to turn this around just to see where I'm placing these. Let's go with one down here. There we go. Just gives it a little pop of color. I like it. I like it a lot. I know, right? But you know what? It, it doesn't have wire in it, but it almost feels like it's got some stiffness in there. So maybe they use some kind of like plastic filament 
in making that yarn? I don't know. I'd be a little too worried about it poking somebody. <laughs> That's all. that directly across from it but at the same time side. These I got from Sims. Okay, I'm liking that. I did have some snowflakes here, but again, they just, I would need small ones. I did have some white, but I think that's just enough pops of white in there. I think I like that. I don't want it to be overwhelming. All right. Let's go ahead and glue these in because I'm kind of liking where they are. So. And I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of spread these out a little. Don't leave them all clumpy. Give them a purpose. Let's glue our snowballs in too. Give them purpose. We could even add more if we wanted. That's an idea. God, you so get me. She knows my style by now. <laughs> Make it look, you know, woodsy. She's got me. Dawn's got me. She feels me. We're always doing that. Someday Dawn's going to come down and spend some time. And Willie's going to come up and Missy's going to come over. And we're going to have a party when all this crap is over. Right? But I want that about right there. Yep, and we all know I got a lot of pine cones, don't I? I bought all those pine cones at Dollar General. I love them. They're so cool. And if they are real, 
They really look, if they aren't, they really look it too. And that, oh gosh, I'm just loving this. But it does, it needs some pine cones. <laughs> All right, Dawn says she's in. Now if we can get Missy and, and Willie and anybody else who wants to come. That's what Willie and I need to do. We need to hold a wreath conference here next year. Whoop, whoop. Right, Well, We'll have our own. We don't need a bunch of big shots. We just want to have fun. All right, now I got to get my pine cones. Now, question is, do I want to use frosted ones or do I want to use plain ones? I think the frosted ones, but they came from something else. They didn't come from the Jollar Tree, but I got three of them. So let's do it. Let's put that one down in there. And let's put this one up in here. Yay! Frosted. Needs to look icy. Just like the sign says, Winter Wonderland. Right? There's three in this series. I have a snowman. And then I also have, um, what is it? It's a, a deer, a couple, a D-E-E-R. Oh man, this is looking like it's not gonna leave my house. <laughs> it's gonna end up staying. We can't give it away. <laughs> That's what it needed. Yes, sir. It's got some nasty wire on it, though. I'm trying to cut it off without breaking the the pine cone. Whoo! That's nasty. Could see a cut in my future with that one. And then I'm thinking about right in here. And then we got all this space up here for our bow. There we go. Pop. That's what it needed. Thank you again, Dawn. <laughs> All right, let's see here. All right, now, tell me what you think. I have this because I like the tan. I have this because I like the red. I have this because this, the Winter Wonderland is in black and it has the, the um, snowflakes. And I like that this kind of looks like it's frosted or snowy. But then I have this. I thought, you know what? This has the green from the sign. I think that would be cute as the first layer and then use these others. Anytime I'm live, baby. You just come and advise. <laughs> That's your job now, Dawn. <laughs> I just wanted it to look country and rustic and woodsy. Um, now wait. Since we added the pine cones. All right. I don't have a lot of this. 
but look at that. Let's add that instead of this. Let's take that out of the equation and let's use these four. What's your thoughts? I kind of like this. Now that we added the, uh, the pine cones in there, I think this might be a keeper. All right. And I, this is, these kind, this kind is my all time favorite. Any kind of plaid. All right. So I'm doing about a 12 inch tail. Oh, got to take my squishy thing out of there. Does that have a name? Willie, what is this thing? This pusher, squisher thingy. <laughs> What's its real name? I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm doing about, I think it's almost six inches. Does that thing have a name? Puppy parents are still messaging me. Oh, and it's only going to get worse. <laughs> Sales are starting to pick up, and I've got a lot of special items coming in, and it's going to hit real soon. I can feel it in my bones, and I'm not ready for it. Now, see, I don't have it crowded out here, do I? Okay, so I'm doing that, then I'm going to do this. And with this bow, I'm going to, I'm going to keep my uh, loops the same size. And with this bow, I think I'm going to do a two looper. This is my, my, one of my favorites this year. <laughs> Squish your thigger. <laughs> That's what I've been calling it, but I don't know its real name. <laughs> now I'm going to do four of this one. You're funny. Are you home yet, Willie? Or did you stop for something to eat? Yes, right? That's going to hit, Dawn. And I know she's not on because she's sleeping, but everybody needs to tell my, my friend Zornitsa from Bulgaria, congratulations. She hit 7,000 in sales on Etsy. So we all need to congratulate her. Maybe I can get her to come on on Wednesday when I'm on because that is just unbelievable. I am so happy for her. She has worked hard. I know. Oh. She, she is my angel. Now I'm thinking I'm just going to do, I don't know. Well, maybe I'll do two. Now I'm second guessing this ribbon. I don't know. I know! Willie just, just heard me. <laughs> she she texts me over the weekend. She's like, look! And I'm like, oh, 
I am just so ecstatic for her. She is such an amazing designer. She has been such a part of my business. <coughs> she has taught me. She doesn't design wreaths. She designs um, designs. Her and her husband do this out of their home in Bulgaria and I, I am just, she blows me away every time because a lot of times I'll have an idea and I'm struggling and I can contact her and she'll, she just tells me. She just knows what I'm feeling. It's, it's like incredible. She is such an amazing designer. I am just so happy for her. She works hard, very hard. We go back and forth all weekend because she shares her country with me and where they're hiking and what they're doing. And she is just, I've gotten to know her so well and she is such a sweetheart. I call her my hero all the time because she has pulled me out of some really messy spots. And it's usually right after she shut the computer down. <laughs> then she got to start it up again. But amazing woman. And very, very talented, so... I am just thrilled to know her and hopefully someday she can come to the States and I can spoil her, take her here, take her there. A Bodabra wand. Look at that. Nanny Dot knows what the name of this is. That's too funny. Thank you, Nanny Dot. <laughs> Nanny Dot's got my back. I need another glue stick. What am I doing? <laughs> That's its real name. <laughs> we should know that, but when we open the box, we throw it out and we do our own thing, so <laughs> we don't look at the box. Now I'll have to remember it, and I probably won't. I'll still be calling it the squishy thing. <laughs> One of my puppy parents is going to be at the polls tomorrow, so I have Arlo and I have Chloe here. Arlo is son of Blaze and Tootsie and Chloe is from Maddie and Blaze. Not me. <laughs> I look at the pictures. Okay. Let's see if I like this or if I'm going to rip it apart. I don't know. It may be too woodsy with the pine cone thingy on there. I may have to go to, I may have to take the pine cone thingy off. The pine cone, this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What are your thoughts of it so far? 
Do I need to take it off and I need some sparkly? I don't know. I don't think it's going with the black, do you? I almost think this. No, because that's warm color. This is a cool color. I'm not liking the pine cone now that I have it in there. So, let me just look. I think this is too, no, that's too mossy. No. Well, could go back to the black and white. What do you think? No, not the red. <laughs> now I do but it's a uh, I do have a burlap with I have this and I have this this has snowflakes on it I'm thinking I kind of like the silver in there. Let's try it. I'm not feeling it with that now that I have it together. I'm not liking it. Okay, I see what you're saying. Let's just take it apart. And you know, I had that tan pulled out first. <laughs> I did. That might be the look I'm trying to go for. And this isn't doing it. I had it out first. Just not sure what my final color will be. So we'll put this down. We'll keep the green. And then we're gonna add this. And I think I'm going to go for, okay, thank you, Susan. I just took our bow apart. Wasn't happy with the results of my second choice. This was my first choice, and I should have stuck with it. I'm just not sure what color I'm going to go for in the end. The last layer. This are too big. So. <sighs> Hi, Vicki. Welcome. We're just messing around here. I took my bow apart because I wasn't feeling the original colors. So now we're going with these colors, but I'm not sure 
what my last one will be. The last color. So I'm liking this. I still like the red. So I'm feeling that. I'm just not sure what my last color will be. I'm just looking to see if there's something that pops out now. I could go back to the tan now. I don't know if I like the tan or the see. I don't know. Or maybe it's the solid red that's getting me. I don't know. You think that would look good. Now, should I go with this red? Or should I go with a different red? Just the one I have. Wait a minute. Kind of like this. What do you think? I kind of like this. And then maybe the pine cone thingy. of avalanche here. <laughs> See, look. What do you think of those colors? This is pulling the green out. It's pulling the tan out. You think that looks good? Because I'm trying not to make it look Christmassy, but yet, I don't know. Or you think that looks like a tablecloth? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's just put it together, I guess. Let's just see. And I took out too small of a zippy tie. That looks bigger. I just think that solid red was just, this is making it look more country. Can use this center loop to cover up the zip tie. All right, let's try it. We'll see. And I still didn't find my cinnamon sticks. So now I have a cardinal that flew away and cinnamon sticks that took off. Let's see what this looks like. I 
great big old mess. That's what it looks like. Let's see, we can leave this up through winter. This is my everyday kind of day. <laughs> I can't make up my mind anymore about anything. I think it's called old age. <laughs> uh, I kind of like in this though, now that I'm looking at it. It's not too bad. Thank you everybody all your assistance. Oh, Dawn's coming up with more ideas. We just may have to. We got a little gingham going in here in the green on that ribbon. I know. Let's just do some little loops. I don't want a whole traily thing going down. I don't want that. So let's just do a few loops here and there. Dawn's my little inspirer. She's inspiring me. It's like she's ahead of me in my thoughts. Because I keep looking at it and looking at the wreath and thinking, okay, this has got to go in there somewhere. Okay, let's get it on the wreath. No problem, Missy. What are you having? We had Sloppy Joes. Oh, oh, I like this. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get it in here. Where's my other one? There we go. Yes, and that's what I was going for. And I think with your suggestions and my thoughts, I think we got it. I'm just gonna have to, I think, trim some of these tails a little bit. So don't want them this long. That's better. Yeah, I think the ribbon, the gingham, really does that. See, I want this more down in here. It's not too high. Yeah. Now if I can undo it. There, right? There is where it needs to go. Was up too high. Here 
You know, I had three people that wanted my barn wreath, and and everybody was asking about it, and one e one person even asked if it's going to be one of a kind, and I said yes, and no no callbacks. So I don't know if they decided they didn't like it. Let's trim this some more. some of these going up this way. That's not straight. There we go. Just needs a little more jacking up. And we will do that in just a second. Just get some of these trimmed up. That sounds good. Sometimes, do you ever wonder if these bows are ever going to settle where you want them to be? <laughs> there we go. There. All right, this needs to go a little shorter. All right, now, let me just kind of feel this out some. Let's just move some of this out of the way. know if I want a bow or a loop. You know what? We need to do away with this. And we need to use this bow. That's what's bothering me. Yes. Don't they? all the time. Mine do. I don't think Missy's bows have a mind of their own. Missy's bows always know which way they're going. Perfection. Right, miss? Maybe working with too small a thing here. Yep, I am. <sighs> uh oh. Broke that one. So, let me fix it. Without burning. My 
minor adjustment. There we go. I make sure that they're in the same position that I wanted them and they are Do a little dovetail. There we go. Now, let me see. I just want some loops. I think I just want some loops. With some dovetails. Nope, I think it needs a bow. Thank you. Thank you, Dawn. Start over. I love this ice skates in winter sleds and then it needs a cardinal <laughs> when I find it this is just country country Christmas country winter Redo this. Get the 
this down in here. position my ball. That didn't work. Get rid of that patch of glue. There we go. Now where is the bottom? Can't find the hole again. There it is. Got it. Got away from me. Hey, Cindy, welcome. I'm glad you could join us. We're going for country winter teardrop here. I think we need another one right up in there and then maybe I don't know maybe we are something's not right with this one so let's undo this I think I need to add just some more greenery right there. And then I think we need to add this possibly up here. Thank you. It is one of my new signs, Winter Wonderland. I even have six sets of the ice skates that I listed with it. Yeah, I think this this needs something right there. So okay. Let me think here. take a piece off my garland and put it in there. Because I don't know where these are and I have to go look them for them. Yeah, that's what it needs right there. Maybe we'll put one going up over here to balance it. Yep, right there. And then we is done.
might need a little more bow fluffing, but well, let me see if I can what do you think? Did we get it? Aw, thank you. I did uh, put a link to this combination, um, but there's a lot of new ribbon. There's a lot of new everything. 